What is up guys, Rx here and today I am going to do another Movie Monster Series review. And today I am going to review the Bandai Movie Monster Series Batra Omega form. Is it Omago? Omega? Uh, I have no idea. But here he is. Finally have a Batra figure in my collection. Which I wasn't expecting to get a Batra figure in my collection. Uh, it feels kind of weird, but at the same time, it's cool. So yeah. Let's get into the figure, let's get into detail first. Let's... Let's zoom in. The head looks pretty nice. The only thing I don't like of the head that the teeth are are painted white instead of the of the of the aged yellow you know that dark yellow almost cream color that he had on the movie like a dark color cream color on the movie he had on the on the on the teeth which I'm pretty disappointed but uh, I'm not too disappointed actually it is what it is that looks, the spots on his head look very cool. Spin around, this is the back of the figure, which the wings are well painted in my opinion. Well, it's missing some paint right there, right there. As you can see, there's a sculpt, but there's no paint in there. So yeah, that's, that's a kind of a bomber. But it's okay. Knowing how movie monster series are these days, it's okay, it's okay. Now let's take a look at the bottom of the wings, the bottom of the figure. Which I really... I could care less, to be honest. Um, Because I'm always kind of have the figure like this. Or like this, looking at the upper upper part of the wings instead of this, so that won't bother me that much because you know that's a lot of pain missing right there. Look, you can see all the sculpt sculpt marks where the paint is supposed to go, but and it's not painted. The legs are well sculpted. I don't know if, if this is a hard plastic though. A hard vinyl or plastic used on the legs because they're very hard, very hard to move. I mean, they don't, there's some, there's some, they, they're not supposed to be articulated, but yeah, they are well sculpted. But I don't, I think they're, they're plastic in my opinion. I think so. The copyright that right there which you cannot read because of the skull and detail in the way 2207 noise and yeah that's it for detail so let, now let's well there's no articulation in the figure so let's go over the tag so the tag here's the tag Batra Godzilla 2022 the back of the tag and here's oh shit. Let me open this. And here's the inside of the tag. So yeah, now let's go to size comparison. Here he is with Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Not Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Mothra Tokyo SOS 2003. Here he is next to Mega Gears. And here he is next to Godzilla 1992 from the same movie as Godzilla and Mothra Battle for Earth. In my opinion, Badger is a good figure. It's just that there's a lot of paint missing and a, qu a questionable paint decision like they used for the mouth. Which, uh, it's questionable but I won't bitch about it. And, you know, and, and, 
And other than the lack of articulation, I think Badger's a good figure. If you don't have a Badger figure and you're collecting, this is the one to get. Because you don't wanna you don't wanna spend too much on message monsters these days. Those things are expensive. Oh my god. So yeah, that's it for today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the not no notification button, but a notific notification bell, I'm sorry. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, stay big G fans, peace.